Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, September 25, 2021. 54 degrees at 8.19 a.m. and I am your host, Fuck em All. Look at the city chickens we got out there. And Mr. Blue Jay, too. There's got to be 30 or 40 city chickens there. A crow cawing in the distance. Mackie's sitting with me. Sammy's working his way in. Yeah, come on, Sam. Got a cup of coffee going over there. And we're marveling at the city chickens because we haven't seen a group of them this big feeding back here in quite some time. Not that they haven't. Oh, look at There were three blue jays. I'm guessing with the amount of city chickens that are starting to come back around here, more and more Peter people are, I mean, Peters, more and more people are taking their feeders down, and so they're coming back to where they know they can get a meal. I don't know where Elsa and Mikey are, and a friend isn't out there. He was out there earlier this morning at about 6. But I need him to be here around 8 so I can take him to a vet appointment on October 4th. Wow, there were four Blue Jays out there. No, there's three. One was back by the spruce tree. Oh, all kinds of Blue Jays out there. Wow, I've never seen that many in this yard. Usually it'll be a pair or so. And altogether I've seen three pairs so far between feeding here and flitting about. There goes the city chickens. I love when they burst off like that. Yes, I do. Look who found a good spot. Look who's found a good spot. Hey, Sam. Mackie. Oh, Max. Yeah. We're going to take a break. I'm moving pretty slow this morning, and I'm hurting. Sam and Max and I are back. So are the city chickens. Oh, it's misty and rainy out there again this morning. Yesterday afternoon it cleared up and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I ended up having an awesome bike ride. The evening was clear blue sky. We had a nice fire. And I'm looking out there for some old friend city chickens and I'm not seeing them. That one with the white... The black pattern back there is pretty interesting color markings. But I'm not seeing any of the, the tan ones and the brown ones that were here in the spring. Not to say they're not still flying about somewhere, but they're not here today. Oh boy, I slept fairly well. Started out sleeping down here at camp and ended up up in the bed and Mikey and Els joined me there. Sam was with me down here. Everyone was actually sleeping out here last night. But then at one point, Mikey went up to the Betty by upstairs, the good bed. And, oh boy, I'm watching the city chickens fly. Oh yeah, and eventually I end up in, ended up joining Mikey upstairs. So, time for another break. Nothing deeper, profound, or useful coming to my mind to come out of my mouth yet but there never usually is is there back again on our second cup of coffee city chickens out there doves out there no sign of the blue jays this time you know i have a hypothesis i can't prove this but I think that it's the city chickens that have unique markings, really unique markings, the ones that stand out that the hawks get, because they don't seem to be as around as long as the other ones. And there was one that a hawk got called Hoppy that I haven't seen in a while, and I don't know, he either got cured or he got ate too. But he survived getting grabbed by one of them birds of prey and struggled to hang on. His foot was mangled and he, he was able to 
get stronger and hop around on it. And that's why I started calling him Hoppy, but I haven't seen him in a while. Maxie's on the move, and so is Sam. We gotta get Sammy his medication, his blood pressure pill, and still no sign of Els and Michael, or friend. Look who just showed up, it's friend. We're gonna go get him some of his wet food. Back again for more. We managed to uh, get friend to come and have something to eat. He came right up on the steps on the porch. And I was gonna try to let him in, but Maxie didn't want that. Um, but he is receptive to entering the house, so that's a good thing. Uh, we got to get a large carrier to catch him, and hopefully he's going to be here on the 4th at about 8 o'clock so we can get him in the carrier and take him to the vet. Have all kinds of other excitement. Sammy, uh, we gave Sammy his blood pressure medication, and then he just threw up a little bit ago, so I got to give him another one. Let's go see friend. What are you doing, buddy? It's a beautiful fall day. The colors are happening fast. Get off your ass and get out and enjoy that. Look at that sweet boy. What are you looking for? What are you trying to tell me, honey? You got food there? You got catnip? You got a warm, dry spot to sleep in? What are you trying to tell me, honey? What are you trying to tell me? Huh, buddy? Come here. The catnip's over here. Oh, don't do that. Come here. Right here. Right here. Come here. Come on over here. There's catnip right here. Look at it. Right there. No, don't fight with me. Don't bite me. There you go. There you go, buddy. He got me a good one in July. I believe it was. You just want somebody out here with you? Is that it? Oh, you're a sweet, good boy. You are a sweet, good boy, and I love you. Yeah. Yeah, what a good friend. Are we going to rename you, or are we going to call you friend? Is that going to be your name? Huh, buddy? All right. Time for another break. I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention that I'm a sinner, so we'll get that out of the way. I am a sinner. But these guys love me. Look at, there's Max and Sam giving cuddles and hugs and purrs. That's all we got for that carafe of coffee. If need be, we'll make more. I don't know where Friend is. I still don't know where Else and Mikey are. Um, but I was just thinking about how nice it was to be just sitting here with Max and Sam and knowing I'm loved. And, uh, you know, one of my readings that I try to read every morning uh, from Tecumseh, The Warrior. When you arise in the morning, give thanks for the morning light, for your life and strength. Give thanks for your food and the joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies in yourself. And those words are so true. Despite all the pissing and whining I appear to do, um, I know I've got much to be grateful for. And right now I'm feeling it. Hey, we're back, and it looked like Princess Elsie was just stretching over here trying to come in. Let's go see if she wants to come in. I was just looking to see if our local football team won their game last night, and they didn't. It's a pretty safe bet that they didn't. Come on, honey. There's the princess. Look at her go. Where's Mikey, else? We had what was called Black Friday back in the 1980s, and the, the high school football program here has never re recovered from that. And if I'm not mistaken, and I may be, I've only been right twice in my life, but <laughs> I think they've had a losing season every year since then. <laughs> oh, yeah, and one time I was just thinking a little while ago, my brother and I were at a game, and the Cats, the Wildcats, actually won a game. And the announcer said, there's a new marshal in town, and he's wearing a Wildcat jersey. And then they proceeded to get beat the next game and had another losing season. So, yeah, I just got a laugh out of that. Now here comes Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Come on, Mikey. Okay. Okay, Mikey. Come on in, buddy. Come on, honey. Come on in. Did you have a good adventure? 
Did you have a good dawn patrol? Come on in, baby. Come on, hon. Come on, sweetheart. You mind like a cat, buddy. You know that? There he goes. Look at Sammy. Look at that face. I think that's all we got this morning. I think that is all we got. Look at how comfy Max is there. Look at Uncle Raz. I miss him. I miss them all. And, yeah. So anyway, piss off.